Oh, hey guys, what's up? Eddie Aho here with KissAnalog.com. All right, guys, sorry about the clutter here. I'm in the middle of a bunch of videos. I got a bunch of different things going on at one time. But anyway, I want to do a Tech Talk Friday. And something came up. I have a little drive to go to work and I watch videos or listen to them, you know? And so I was listening to this uh, video that I want to talk about. And I'm going to put a link down below. But ground is a myth. I love it. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> I was glad somebody else came out and said that. And an organization that I think means something, you know, I got some support here. So, you know, I've done four videos. I wanted to kind of just read them off to you. The first one I did is, what's all this ground stuff? And I talked about all kinds of different grounds, and and I think that video might be worth watching. Uh, take a look at that. And then uh, a grounding map. So it was kind of a continuation of that. Um, when you design a system, a lot of times, especially if there's different cards in the box, or if you have a card that has analog ground, digital ground, all kinds of different grounds, you make a grounding map. So you can show like, this is where these things get connected and this is where they are. On this card, there's primary ground, secondary card. And on this card, there's analog and uh, digital ground. And so it's grounding map. So you can kind of keep track of where your signals are going and, and what you're going to call those grounds. Because what are grounds? Grounds are myth. That's what we're saying, right? You know, it's such a bad name, but it's just return. It's analog return, digital return. If we call it return, like what kind of return is it? Well, we're returning current from the digital circuit, the analog circuit, you know, the primary circuit, that kind of thing. If we did that, then it would be so less confusing and so less, uh, we'd be dealing with myth less often. Because <laughs> they're, you know, earth ground. As a matter of fact, I was reading this vendor's uh, schematics and, I'm, and they make these modules. And I'm not going to say their name because it's embarrassing. It actually should be embarrassing. They put, um, they, they actually write on next to the ground and they call it earth ground. Yeah, it's sad because that ground that they mean, what they really mean is that in this case, they mean chassis ground or local chassis ground. It has nothing to do with earth ground. The only thing earth ground has to do with is lightning protection. That's really the main thing, okay? It's to keep our power grid system all referenced to the same spot. Kind of like all this metal up here, anything that's metal that I can touch, all has to be tied to what we call safety ground, right? Safety ground. But um, it could be called safety return or whatever. But yeah, the, the word ground, man, we should have never started using that. And these power supplies, uh, they have isolated outputs, right? They're not tied to the primary circuit. They go through 120 volts here in the US and then they come out with you know, triple outputs, quad outputs, different types of outputs. And then they put a green terminal on them. And that green terminal is chassis ground. That's safety ground. That's what all this metal is tied to. So, yeah, earth ground. Watch this video. I'm going to put a link to it, okay? So let's just talk about it. So these people, uh, this group, I'm going to tell you, they have, I think it's like over 160,000 members right now. That's in the U.S., I believe. And then worldwide, they have another 7,000. So it's mostly a U.S.-based uh, club, I guess you call it. But it was called the uh, American Radio Relay League. Okay? So it's an ARRL. That's kind of where this ARRL came from, if you're wondering. And it started in 1914. So it's been around for a long time. They just published, I believe, I say just published, but the current publication of this big fat fat book that they uh, write and as a matter of fact it's gotten so big they've I think they're up to six volumes now the first volume is 700 pages and you can get it on Amazon for like $9.99 I'll put the link down below I think you get all six volumes for I forget what it is 40 or 50 bucks so again or maybe it's 60 50 56 dollars something like that. anyway I'll put the link down below okay and those links, you know, I, I'm an affiliate at Amazon, so I get a very small percentage, but hey, every little bit helps, so I appreciate it. Uh, anyway, 
So they just published their latest one. It's the hundredth anniversary, the hundredth publication. Pretty cool. So the hundredth edition, nine ninety nine. Can you believe it? Seven hundred pages. All right. So they did a convention just this year, and I think it was just last month, or was it this month? Or it was just, I think. So they had a convention, I think it was just this month in May, I believe. It was in Dayton, Ohio, and they had uh, a record-breaking crowd there, 36,000. I mean, that's that's a lot of people to show up for a club, right? It just, you know, yeah, seems like a lot to me. So now they're called the, I don't know if they changed their name or what, or if they've, it's always been called this, but it's the National Association for Amateur Radio. I think it changed names. I, I don't know. But that's who, what they're official name is I'll, I'll put the links down below so you can go look at their web page okay uh but i'm gonna also put a link to this video that i just watched or uh, listened to i actually i got to work and i watched it because uh well it wasn't really much watch it's just a lady who is the vice president okay she's the they call her the first vice president so her name is Kristen mcintyre I, I think that's the way to pronounce it Hopefully it is. Uh, but anyway, so she gave up, and I think it was like an hour-long um, talk. Um, and, yeah, and you know what the talk was based on? It was titled The Ground Myth. <laughs> so I just love that. So anyway, I just wanted to bring that up, let you guys know that grounding, it's something that's, it should be called return. Current... Uh, follows a path, right? You have to close the circuit. When you open the circuit, it's called a open. We have switches that open circuits. So you have current flow, and it, it goes out and it returns. There's Kirchhoff's current law, meaning all the currents leaving a node, like leaving a, a, a spot, has to return to that spot. So if it branches off three or four different ways, it all eventually, it might come back ten different ways, but it comes back to that spot. So Whatever leaves comes back, okay? So it's Kirchhoff's current law, and it's just the way things work. So when these people, like say audio files, I like to beat up on those guys because it's kind of craziness when they get around the talk of ground. But these grounding boxes, they fill with sand and crystals and stuff, and then they connect their wires to it and think that makes their sound sound better. Um, first of all, <laughs> I mean, it's... Yeah, it's just craziness, guys. But um, the whole ground thing, it's like for some reason, like some of them put extra ground rods in and they tie their audio ground system to that ground rod, which is really bad idea. And it's actually against the code, electrical code, because it's not a safety thing. I mean, it's not safe. And, and the reason we have those things is they're for safety, not because it completes some kind of circuit. That current doesn't go into earth ground and complete some kind of magical circuit because the wires feeding the power is where that current's circulating. Okay, it's not going through earth ground. Earth ground's just there as a reference point, just to tie everything down. It's like static energy builds up on something. You tie, you know, like a mat, like these or these antistatic mats. If I had it properly done, I'd or if this was one, you know, I'd have. Uh, like a was it 10 mega ohm resistor tied to the safety ground so that any static would run off that so it's kind of like the power grid systems same kind of idea lightning comes down and hits that has a place to go that's what's there because lightning wants to complete its circuit it's creating an electrostatic field as it you know moves across the sky and you know clouds move across the sky you know anyway so <sighs> yeah, ground. Ground's myth, guys. Anyway, it's a short video. Just wanted to bring up the... There's a video that you might want to go watch, listen to. You can just listen to it. Uh, but yeah, she's the first vice president, and she gives a nice talk. And she explains a lot of different factors. She even talks about antennas, how the belief that you need a ground system. She talks about that, too. All right? All right, guys. <laughs> Tech Talk Friday. Let me know what you think. Uh, it's a myth. Okay? Hey, um, I got another video tomorrow that's going to post. So, hope you like that. 
Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.